There's one button and one gets the upper end. But it is odd that you say this isn't tied in. Well, I mean, if you have a cob wall top, and presumably the first original eave, I mean, that may have been all replaced. Mm. And we have something original here. The first eave layer is usually sparred into the mud. Mm. So that's an anchor. Yeah. And it's a block for it. So anything trying to come down the roof hits this solid eave. Yes. Um, but then, you know, 500 years, the weight of all of that coming down is a lot of weight. Mm. So mm. I don't know. What, what, I, what I would want to do in an archaeological sense when the thatching is occurred, before the thatching is occurred, is to do a nice trench in one of the more medieval areas and you work your way down layer by layer. But critically then, you're, you're very cautious on the eave. Yes. So you want to see how the original eave was constructed. And I would suspect that it would have been stone walls of a mud capping along the eave. And then somehow that eave layer is pegged into that. Whether they made twisted weird bits of straw rope to strengthen it or whatever. But mm -hmm. So hopefully there's a bit of original eave. An excavation of, of a trench about, about three feet wide. and. The, essentially applying a you know an archaeological approach what you do in a trend because mm. you're going so you'd start at the top just towards the ridge in fact you might want to do a section through the ridge mm. and push yourself down a couple of feet until you find the next layer go down however mm. it takes what you're working is from weathered layer to weather that's how you see the surface so you're, you're recording the fixings at every layer and the material at every layer problem is you could get into uh, problems with patching, for example, maybe you just happen to have come down onto an area that happened to be patched, so it's not actually a layer. Because historically people are thatching in sections or in patches, not just the whole face, which is what's happened in the last 40, 50 years. But you know, usually you can see. And, and then I would push that trench right from the ridge to the eave. If we're really lucky, we'll get intact ridges and intact eave. If not, I would push the eave slightly over just to get some idea to try to find out how the original eave layer was fixed. Yes. That should actually, to me, inform how the rethatching work occurs at the eave. Mm -hmm. If it really is a mudded wall top, which is what I expect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.